Welcome to Real Cool Adventures. This is how to pluck an Egyptian goose. Started, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a gun, stick it up here. Also, always check with your local rules and regulations no matter where you are. Obviously, we're on private property, but it is illegal as far as I know anywhere in the United States to shoot from a moving vehicle, so always make sure you're stopped, you're in park, and if you get the opportunity, shut the car off so nobody can get hurt. All right, so I brought several guns. This is what we like to call, uh, not a shotgun, but a front seat gun. You can get in and out of the car with it, nice and easy. But this is what we call a reach out and touch someone. So I'm gonna grab this and uh, it's a little harder to shoot, but it's one thing about this gun. If you've seen any of our videos, to me, it's the most reliable thing I own. It doesn't jam, it doesn't mess up. It's really accurate. Um, it's just my go-to gun. It's a Benjamin uh, Bulldog 357. I also recommend if you get the opportunity to hunt any of these where they're fairly skittish or they've been hunted before, try to come in the morning because they need that sunlight. They come out and they need that energy. So not really ready to run from me yet. But. God, I don't know what that was. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing shorts, my dryer broke last night. So, working on my uh, agility today. Today's leg training day. Look at these. Look at these geese, right here on the edge of the field. Now, my buddy's got a horse stable back behind there. I don't want to shoot that way. I'm going to try to get in line with him. You guys want to see how to save money for Thanksgiving with the uprising cost of turkeys? I'm going to show you right now. I would not get out of the car because it would be the kiss of death. Now, the problem I have, you know what I'm going to do? I can't shoot that way. I'm going to back down here so I can turn that up and shoot that way. Now, um, the reason I'm not getting out of the car is the second I get in the car, these things are gonna fly. So I'm gonna try to do is back up. They're super smart, and I'm just gonna act like I don't see them. Like, right now, they're like, oh, it's just somebody. Oh, look at that coot. A little road runner. Now, that, another reason, these things also, before we get started, before I run in the canal. These things wreak havoc on the native wildlife. They tear up stuff, they ruin the farms. They're, for one, they're also invasive, you can hunt them all year long. For two, they literally kill and peck apart all the native ducks, all the native wildlife. Especially, we'll show you in a few months in the spring, I've seen it where a lot of times a lot of these ducks, wood ducks and stuff, they will nest underneath bridges and these guys go in there, take over their nest, and kick them out, and knock the babies in the water. It's pretty graphic, but yeah. Basically how it goes down. What I'm gonna try to do is line these up and see if I can shoot two or three in one shot. Let's we'll see what happens. Do that to me, duck. Oh, my hip. Sure. Oh, get my butt in here. Thing's heading right for me. Dropped him. Smoked him right in the head. Oh, oh, my hips. 
And that right there, my friends, is how you save money on Thanksgiving. Shut that off. Boom. And that's the most ethical, the best way to take out with an air rifle, a nice Egyptian goose. Aim for the neck or the back of the head. If you don't have a good clean head shot, just kind of line your crosshairs up on the neck, knocks them out completely. I also recommend a really high caliber for them. I've tried it with the smaller stuff, it doesn't work as well, but. And there we go. Nice, beautiful Thanksgiving dinner. Let's go home and clean it.